temperature check. Yeah, yeah. So welcome back. You said it's a little different than normal. Is, is it exciting to be back on a fight week and, and getting ready to go? said you want to get out there and put on a show. I mean, Clay Greed is a good guy to go out there and do that against. When a name like that comes across your desk, are you sort of like oh, overawed or are you just overexcited for the opportunity? Uh, you're excited. I mean, what do you, when a name like that comes across your desk, you just have to say, you either say yes or you say yes and you get excited for it. So um, I think for me on the, on the back end of my career here and potentially my last fight ever had Clay Guida's uh, you know, an amazing name, and it's real cool to compete against him. Um, I'll probably crack a smile when I get in there and he and see his vintage yes, ugly mug <laughs> swaying across uh, across the octagon. I'm sure I'll crack a smile and, and appreciate it for a second, but then I'll go after him. You mentioned this might be your last fight. Mm -hmm. Does a name like his make that more special? Like, hey, I went out against one of the best legends ever, or do you just think this is about me and my journey? Yeah, I mean, obviously, a lot of guys approach their last fight ever knowing and say, hey, I want an easy opponent. I want to win. Um, I haven't done that here, obviously. Clay, is uh, he's been around for a while, and he's no slouch. He's good, you know, good everywhere. So I'm not uh, – I've competed against the best. I, I was doing a little refre reflection this week and looking at all my losses, all five of them, uh, Two of the last, the last two losses, they just fought in a title eliminator match. Fought Josh Emmett, he's up for the title. Uh, fought, fought Drew Dober, lost to him. He's maybe broken some records, doing really well. Nick Lentz has been up in the rankings. So um, you can't say I'm not battle tested. Yeah. Is that one of the things that you want your legacy, legacy to be? Like, hey, I fought everyone they put in front of me. I fought some of the best guys in the world, and, and I did it. My yeah. Life. Yeah, I'm up here hanging with the top 0.001% of guys in the world. I got in the UFC when I was 30 years old, just for fun, man. I just started fighting people for fun. And then all of a sudden, I ended up up here with world, ch you know, division one wrestlers and, uh, you know, people, world champion grapplers and, and all these guys, man. And I'm, I'm hanging in here with these guys. So it's been a hell of a ride, man. It's been a lot of fun. And, and I've, I've been in there with the best. Is there a risk that if Saturday goes your way and it's really exciting that you might go, oh, go on, we'll go for a little longer? Or do you think this really is the <laughs> last one? Uh, well, I'll talk to my wife about that. I you think we're ask, all familiar yeah. with the Tom Brady story that's going on right now. <laughs> could, could be similar to that. I have, a, have another little boy do any day now. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Don't tell anybody, but I may have to leave and then come back before the fight if the baby's born. So we'll see. Yeah. Best of luck, buddy. Thank you. Thank you.